So next goes to aerial stem modifications. Under aerial stem modifications, what happens means uh, in this uh, first one that is nothing but tendril. In this first one that is nothing but a tendril. In this tendril, can you tell me tendril means long, wiry, coiled, sensitive structure means it is nothing but a, one it is a long and second it is a wiry like structure, long wiry, third it is a sensitive structure, sensitive structure and fourth it coils like a coils like a watch spring, coils like which spring means watch spring. So, tendrils, uh, these tendril or plants can we show whether the stems, whether they are weak stems or whether the stems, whether they are strengthened stems. In tendril or climbers, uh, always the stem shows uh, weakened stems. That means these stems, they cannot withstand with their own strength. That means with the help of tendrils, with the help of tendrils, these tendrils, these are nothing but long, wiry, sensitive coils, which coils like a wall spring. What, what is meant by sensitive nature means due to the sensitivity nature, if they touch us any support, if they touch us any support, immediately it coils around the support and helps in climbing which, which plays an important role in order to receive sufficient amount of sunlight and it can prepare their own food material sufficiently. That means the, as it is one of the sensitive structure, if it touches if it touches, uh, which support means if it touches any support, if it touches any support, uh, immediately what happens means immediately it coils around the support. Immediately it coils uh, around the support uh, and helps in, and helps in uh, climbing, and helps in which process means, uh, and helps in uh, Climbing due to which what happens means whether it can receive sufficient amount of sunlight due to which whether they can prepare their own food materials by means of a process namely known as photosynthesis due to which the sufficient food material is prepared. Yes, sufficient amount of food material is prepared. And can you tell me what are the examples for tendrils means they given one example that is nothing but gods. One example that is nothing but gods. Can you tell me what are called as gods? That is nothing but a watermelon. That is nothing but watermelon first. Second one that is nothing but pumpkin. And the third one that is nothing but cucumber. And the third one that is nothing but a cucumber. That means uh, these gods, a uh, plants namely known as watermelon plant, pumpkin plant and as well as cucumber plants, uh, whether they are showing tendrils means, yes, these three of them, they are showing uh, tendrils. But which one is modified into tendril here? Whether that the axillary bud is modified into tendril or whether the terminal bud is modified into tendril. That means uh, in these three plants, uh, the axillary bud uh, where it plays an important role in modification that is nothing but axillary bud is modified into Axillary bud is modified into tendril. Axillary bud is modified into tendril. Due to which, due to the help of this axillary buds which are modified into tendril, due to the sensitivity nature, if coils, if they touches any support, immediately coils around the support and helps in climbing in order to receive sufficient amount of sunlight and they can prepare their own food materials by means of a process namely known as photosynthesis and what is that another example means uh, that is nothing but grapes that is nothing but which one that is nothing but grapes what is the scientific name of grapes means uh, whitis venifera whitis uh, venifera and here in this grapes which bud is modified into tendril means axillary bud is modified into tendril no in this axillary bud is not modified into tendril in the grapes that is nothing but why it is venifera? Which bud is modified into tendril means in this the terminal bud is modified into tendril in a plant namely known as grapes which is none other than why it is venifera due to which it helps in climbing and in order to receive sufficient amount of sunlight in order to prepare their food materials by means of a process namely known as a photosynthesis. This is about a tendril. Once again, Tendril, whether it is long, wiry, coiled, sensitive structure which coils like a wasp spring, yes. 
and if it touches any due to the sensitivity nature if they touches any support immediately coils around the support and helps in climbing in order to receive sufficient amount of sunlight in order to prepare their food material by means of photosynthesis what are that examples means here one it is nothing but guards under guards how many examples means three examples one it is watermelon second one it is pumpkin and third one it is cucumber in this which bud is modified into tendril axillary buds are modified into tendril but whereas in grapes that is nothing but white is vinifera in this terminal bud is modified into tendril this is about tendrils and one more thing here in this tendrils can you tell me how many plants they are showing tendrils means in this the plant namely known as that we will discuss under leaf modifications not here and next goes to philoclades what is meant by philoclades philo means leaf philo means leaf clade means it is nothing but stem or branches that is nothing but which one stem or branches that means in philoclades mainly stem sometimes branches are also modified into leaf like structure and they can perform photosynthesis in can in order to prepare their own food materials what happens to the leaves in this philoclades why what happens to the leaves in philoclades means uh, these philoclades whether they are present in xerophytic plants means yes they are present in which plants xerophytic plants that means in the xerophytic plants uh, larger amount of water is available no there the less amount of water is available that less amount of water if it is available if it shows uh, green expanded flattened leaves means uh, more rate of transpiration occurs uh, due to which uh, this philoclade examples they are going to die very soon in order to protect themselves what happens means uh, these leaves in xerophytic plants uh, either they may be reduced to scaly leaves either they may be reduced to scaly leaves either they may be reduced to spines either they may be reduced to scaly leaves either they may be reduced to spines uh, in order to overcome water deficiency that means in this philoclades how many examples they given means three examples they given one it is nothing but opentia one it is nothing but which plant means opentia in opentia in opentia what happens means in this main stem in this what happens means main stem and its branches also main stem and it branches they are modified into they are they are modified into green flattened green flattened photosynthetic structures green flattened photosynthetic structures green flattened photosynthetic structures which can plays an important role in photosynthesis which plays an important role in photosynthesis that means in opentia what i so what i told you that is nothing but the main stem and its branches they are modified into green flattened photosynthetic structures due to which they can prepare their own food material by means of a process namely known as photosynthesis that means what is the diagram you see here this is the diagram belonging to this is the diagram belonging to opentia this is the diagram belonging to opentia in this what happens means its branches also stores food material means this is also called as branches of opentia that means main stem and branches as it store as it uh, as they are green colored flattened structures where can they can perform photosynthesis and what happens to the leaves here i already told you the leaves what happens to the leaves leaves are modified into group of spines leaves are modified into group of spines leaves are modified into which one here group of spines these are the leaves which are modified into group of spines this is nothing but group of spines and what happens means in this some spines they are modified into 
thread like structures in the some spines they are modified into which structures thread like structures fiber like structures thread like thread like structures that means group of spines plus these thread like structures can we call what is called as these thread like some spines they are modified into fiber like structures or thread like structures these are structures are nothing but these structures are nothing but bobs these structures are nothing but bobs that means in opentia leaves are reduced to spines in that some spines they are reduced into thread like structures or fiber like structures these thread like structures or fiber like structures are called as bobs that means a group of spines group of spines plus bobs is equal to areole is equal to which one here areole that means if this opentia shows 10 areoles if this opentia shows 10 areoles if this opentia if it is showing 10 areoles that means it shows how many nodes means it shows 10 nodes only it shows how many nodes means it shows 10 nodes only why because group of spines they are nothing but the modified leaves no that means this one leaf is one areole is equal to one node no what i said 10 nodes is equal to 10 areoles only 10 nodes is equal to 10 areoles only this is about opentia now in this opentia it is one of the good example for succulent zero fight it is one of the good example for succulent zero fight what is meant by succulent zero fight that means in this stems and branches as they are storing food materials in the form of sorry in this stems and branches as they are storing as they are storing food materials by means of a process namely known as photosynthesis and they are storing water in the form of mucilage due to which they are modified into succulent structures so this zero fight it is also called as succulent zero fight succulent zero fight and what happens means this succulent zero fights whether they are facing drought conditions externally yes this succulent zero fights that is nothing but opentia they are facing drought conditions they are facing which conditions drought conditions externally they are facing drought conditions externally but whether they are facing drought conditions internally no why because here the water is stored in the form of mucilage so it cannot face they cannot face as drought conditions internally they cannot facing drought conditions which one internally so as it is one of the good example for succulent zero fight that means in the succulent zero fight in opentia water is stored in the form of mucilage due to which they are facing drought conditions only externally but they are not facing drought conditions internally what is the reason means here the water is stored in the form of mucilage so they are not facing drought conditions internally this is about the first example belonging to phylloclades so next example that is nothing but second example euphorbia in euphorbia what happens means in this leaves are reduced to spines leaves are reduced to spines in this leaves are reduced to spines that means which one is the photosynthetic structure means which one is the photosynthetic structure means in this it shows a cylindrical shaped phylloclade cylindrical which shaped phylloclade cylindrical shaped green color cylindrical shaped which color means green color phylloclade green color phylloclade that means in euphorbia leaves are reduced to spines in order to perform the function of leaves which one is modified into photosynthetic structure means in this cylindrical shaped green colored phylloclade as it performs photosynthesis and it also stores water and it also stores what happens means it also stores 
water in the form of which struck in the form of a mucilage in the form of which one mucilage can we call this one as a stem succulent yes it is called as a stem succulent this euphorbia it is also called as a stem succulent that means whether it faces drought conditions externally yes it faces drought conditions externally but it does not faces drought conditions internally this is about euphorbia in euphorbia leaves are reduced to spines in euphorbia which one is modified into photosynthetic structures that is nothing but the stem is modified into in this which one is modified into means stem is modified into photosynthetic structure which is present in cylindrical shaped which is present in green color which is nothing but phylloclade and this uh, euphorbia stem not only prepares their own food materials they also stores water in the form of mucilage so it is one of the good example for stem succulent due to which whether they are facing drought conditions externally means yes they are facing drought conditions externally but not internally this is about the second example that is nothing but euphorbia and the third example that is nothing but uh, that third example that is nothing but casuarina in casuarina which one whether here the stem is modified into phylloclade stem it is not modified into phylloclade which one is modified into phylloclade in stem that means in casuarina stem itself it is not modified into phylloclade that means so what happens means in this branches are modified into in this branches are modified into phylloclade in this branches are modified into phylloclade which shaped branches means these are nothing but needle shaped branches those are nothing but needle shaped phylloclades can be seen needle shaped phylloclades can be seen only in casuarina in casuarina stem itself it is not modified into phylloclade branches are modified into phylloclades in this branches means which shaped branches needle shaped branches are modified into phylloclades in this casuarina which type of phyllotaxy can be seen means in this casuarina whole phyllotaxy can be seen which type of phyllotaxy can be seen means whole phyllotaxy can be seen what what have what is meant by whole phyllotaxy means think this one is the stem this is the node in this node area leaves are reduced to scaly leaf like structures which are arranged in the form of a whorl scaly leaves which are present in the form of a whorl means whether it represents whorl phyllotaxy yes it represents a whorl phyllotaxy this is about the phylloclades next goes to third modification that is nothing but a cladophyll what is meant by cladophyll means it is a variation of phylloclade it is a variation of a it is a variation of a phylloclade which one is the variation of phylloclade means the cladophyll itself it is a variation of phylloclade why because see here in this cladophyll what was the example they given means they given asparagus now can you tell me in asparagus how many types of modifications can be seen It means three types of modifications can be seen in this first one it is a leaf modification in this first one it is nothing but a leaf modification leaf modifications are of how many types means it is of two types one it is a leaf on the main stem leaf on main stem reduced to spine reduced to spine leaf on main stem it is reduced to spine leaf on branches leaf on branches reduced to reduced to scaly leaf reduced to which one scaly leaf and what happens in asparagus means already we studied at the time of root modification that is nothing but it is showing a root modification which type of root modification it shows means a cluster of tuberous fasciculated cluster of tuberous 
fasciculated cluster itself it is nothing but fasciculated a fasciculated tuberous fibrous roots can be seen in the under root modification what is that one called as cluster of cluster of tuberous tuberous fibrous roots can be seen fibrous fibrous roots can be seen what is the meaning of cluster means that is nothing but fasciculated that is nothing but which one fasciculated and next goes to the leaf modification over and root modification over next goes to aerial stem modification that which we are going to discuss now aerial stem modification what is the aerial stem modification in this asparagus in asparagus the aerial stem modification itself it is nothing but one internodal what it is called as one internodal cladophyll one internodal cladophyll that means aerial stem modification it shows one internodal cladophyll that means asparagus shows three types of modifications yes leaf modification leaf on main stem reduced to spine leaf on branches reduced to scaly leaf root modification cluster of tuberous fibrous roots can be seen and next the third one that is nothing but aerial stem modification that is nothing but cladophyll it is nothing but variation of a philoclade that means whether it shows one internodal cladophyll yes it shows one internodal cladophyll that means what happens means here in this asparagus cluster of cluster of what i'm saying here cluster of tuber cluster of one internodal one internodal cladophylls can be seen means yes a cluster of one internodal cladophylls can be seen when you watch the diagram in the diagram the differentiation is clearly drawn in the diagram you can observe there by seeing the diagram so it can be observed by seeing the seeing the diagram seeing which one here seeing the diagram so this is about cladophyll this is about a cladophyll we completed this cladophyll also and next goes to thorns next goes to thorns this thorns whether they are hard woody pointed like structures means yes these are hard woody pointed like structures these are hard woody pointed like structures can you tell me what is the main function of the thorn the main function of the thorn thorn itself it is hard woody pointed like structure that means as it is pointed like structure whether it plays an important role in protection yes it is playing an important role in protection it is playing an important role in protection and what happens means these thorns uh, whether it plays an important role in reducing the rate of transpiration yes it also helps in uh, reducing the it also helps in reducing the rate of transpiration it also helps in reducing the rate of uh, transpiration that means as thorns are hard woody pointed like structures due to the pointed like structure it plays an important role in protection and due to which it plays an important role in reducing the rate of transpiration that means whether it is one of the xerophytic character yes it is one of the xerophytic character it is one of the xerophytic character in this thorns how many examples they given means two examples they given one it is bougainvillea one it is bougainvillea another one it is citrus another one it is called as citrus one it is bougainvillea and the another one it is citrus in bougainvillea and in citrus which bud is modified into thorn that is nothing but axillary buds are modified into which buds are modified into thorn means axillary buds are modified into modified into thorns axillary buds are modified into thorns in bougainvillea and as well as in citrus this is about the thorns next goes to another modification that is nothing but 
बल बिल एन द मॉडिफिकेशन दट इज नथिंग बट विच वन ईयर बल बिल सो इन बल बिल वॉट हैपन्स मीन्स ब्रांचेस आर कंडेंसड इन दिस विच वन आर कंडेंसड ब्रांचेस आर कंडेंसड एंड दिस कंडेंसड ब्रांचेस वेदर इट इज स्टोरिंग फूड मेटीरियल्स यस दे स्टोर्स फूड मेटीरियल्स दिस कंडेंसड ब्रांचेस दे स्टोर्स विच वन ईयर फूड मेटीरियल्स दैट मीन्स can you say can you say this bulb bill it is one of the aerial stem modification which plays an important role in vegetative propagation yes this bulb bill it is one of the aerial stem modification it plays an important role in vegetative propagation it plays an important role in which one here vegetative propagation that means here the branches are condensed and it stores food materials and it stores which one food materials and this branches uh, and this condensed branches when it is getting separated from the mother plant this condensed branches which stores food materials if they are getting separated from the mother plant if they are getting separated from if they are getting separated from mother plant if they are getting separated from which one year mother plant uh, it develops into individual it develops into individual plant by developing by developing which roots means by developing adventitious roots by developing adventitious roots in this how many examples for bulbil means the first example that is nothing but dioscorea in this first if under bulbil the first example that itself it is nothing but dioscorea it is one of the good example in this dioscorea what happens means axillary vegetative bud is modified into bulbil in this which one is modified into bulbil in dioscorea axillary vegetative bud is modified into bulbil in dioscorea which plays an important role in vegetative propagation which plays an important role in vegetative propagation but whereas another plant namely known as agave americana agave americana in agave americana which bud is modified into bulbil means axillary what is the difference means here axillary floral bud axillary floral bud is modified into bulbil is modified into which one here bulbil in agave americana that means in agave americana that is nothing but axillary floral bud whether it is present in the axil of the leaf or axil of the bract means they are developing from the axil of the bract they are developing from which one year axil of the bract it is modified into bulbil so i told here axillary floral from the axil of the bract floral bud will arise that's why here what i told what i told you axillary floral bud which are developing from the axil of the bract which develops into bulbil but whereas in dioscorea axillary vegetative bud means whether they are developing from the axil of the leaf yes they are developing from which one means axil of the axil of the vegetative organ axil of the vegetative organ that is nothing but photosynthetic organ that is nothing but a leaf they that's why i told here axillary vegetative bud is modified into bulbil in dioscorea why because this axillary bud which is present in axil of the vegetative organ that is nothing but the photosynthetic organ that is nothing but the leaf that's why i told here axillary vegetative bud is modified into bulbil so this we completed the aerial stem modifications